YouTube, 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 what's up, baby? We back in this thing again. <laughs> Hold up, bud. For another review. This is Q's Insight. I'm Kali, and today we're here to talk about an old movie called Demolition Man. Alright? Now, if you've been to this channel before, you already know how we do it. We started off with the premise, three favorite scenes, the grade, and then we on to next one. Right? Okay, so we got Demolition Man, all right? Now, this is an older movie. It was made in uh, 1993, if I'm not mistaken. So, I was a young buck when this first came out. And I truly didn't even watch this movie until, like, later on, until I was, like, older. Um, but after I watched it, you know, instantly I, I loved it. And, um, you know, to this day, I still watch it. To this day! To this day! I still watch it, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, you know, so this is called Demolition, man. So, I don't know. So maybe some of you guys have seen it. Some of you guys maybe haven't. And if you guys haven't seen it, maybe by the end of this review, I can persuade you to go on and see it. And if you've already seen it, maybe after you watch the review, you just probably want to go see it again. You know what I'm saying? But being that this is an old movie, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to spoil it too much. And I also really want people to go watch this movie if you haven't seen it before. It's, it's really a good movie. It's really a good movie. Um, Sylvester Stallone, Sandra Bullock, and yeah, family, Wesley Snipes, bro, you can't go wrong with that. And there's way more of the people in here too as well, but you know, those are the main three to me. Um, so basically the premise of this movie is you have a, uh, a character named John Spartan played by Sylvester Stallone. He's like one of the, you know, baddest cops out there. You feel me? Like don't commit a crime in front of him. Because you may not even do the time. You may just end up getting murked. You feel me? So, anyways, he's one, he's one of those. He's one of those. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, there's also a... Uh, the villain to this movie. His name is Simon Phoenix, played by Wesley Snipes. Now, he is a criminal lord. You feel me? In L.A., in some of the worst times that, you know... There was for LA, you know what I'm saying? Um, so John Spartan is tasked to go do a mission, which is bring Simon Phoenix in. All right. So when he does this, what happens is Simon Phoenix frames John Spartan for the murders of like uh, innocent civilians. And he then um, gets screwed over. So Wesley Snipes is Wesley Snipes, which is uh, Simon Phoenix's character. He will be going to jail, but because of John Spartan being um, framed, he'll be going to jail too. So what ends up happening is um, instead of putting Simon Phoenix and Sylvester Stallone into jail. They end up doing this thing called cryo freezing. So they'll take the the prisoner or you know whoever it may be, freeze them in um in some water, and then you know revive them later on when it's time. So what ends up happening once John Spartan gets cryo freeze and Wesley Snipes gets cryo freeze. Time flies. We're talking about like, you know, years, 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 years later to where certain places have merged with each other. You got a place called like, um, I don't know what they said. Like, it was like, I don't know. I don't know. But like a lot of places have merged with each other due to, um, you know, earthquakes and things like that of, of that nature. Right. Um, also you have, uh, everything is in the future. You got high tech, everything. The police are way different because over the time, the, the, uh, like, you know, like murders, things like thing, mean things like that kind of dissolve and turn into nothing. And then also there's not really no criminals and whatever it may be. If you want to say like 
you know, they, they kind of come into the state of like just total peace. Like there is no fighting. There is no, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it is just like that. And so you have a character um, named uh, Dr. Raymond and he wants to keep the people living in fear. So what he does is he frees Simon Phoenix from his cryogenic state in order to cause more fear onto the citizens. And because of this, the chief, um, Chief George, he is like the, he's the chief of the police force that is um, in this movie. And so he, along with uh, Lanina Huxley, which is uh, Sandra Bullock's character, they both come up with the idea of, uh, re um, you know, reviving or rejuvenating or um, defrosting, however you want to say it, John Spartan. So that way he can deal with Simon Phoenix, because like I said, in the future, people are not mentally prepared to handle uh, such a, a criminal as Simon Phoenix. But John Spartan would be. So what ends up happening is John Spartan is tasked with once again, bringing Simon Phoenix in and uh, he ends up learning the new, learning the new world that, it, that he, that he's lives in now because so much time has passed. Um, he ends up, you know, becoming friends with Lenina Huxley and also a character named Alfredo Garcia. All right. And, uh, that those three are tasked with, like I said, handling Simon Phoenix and his criminals and the and the bad that he does. So that's basically the premise of the movie. Um, that's what I'm gonna give out. Uh, three of my favorite scenes, and these may be out of order, but three of my favorite scenes would honestly be the opening scene where you have Simon. I'm sorry, where you have um, John Spartan. So where you have John Spartan. Um, going against Simon Phoenix's henchmen in order to reach Simon Phoenix in order to um, knock him out and then take him into the police um, station. Um, but it doesn't quite happen that way, but, you know, that was a really dope scene. I really like how, you know, they put that together. Like, it was, it was just really cool, really cool opening, really cool opening, right? Second favorite scene would be the fight between Simon Phoenix and John Spartan when they're in that history museum. That was a dope scene as well. Um, and then my third favorite scene would probably be um, there's a scene where Simon Phoenix is typing on the computer this like community computer and he ends up cussing and then in the future you can't cuss and so he gets up he gets these tickets for cussing he keeps on cussing keeps on getting tickets so therefore um the police um send out a police unit in order to detain simon phoenix and they're no match and simon phoenix just basically picks all of them apart real easily um definitely one a funny scene and 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 i i love it you know what i'm saying i love it man uh, so that'll be three of my favorite scenes, man. This movie is such a great one, man. I, I, it's 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 one of those older movies, but it just has this vibe, this feeling where you know what I'm saying like I, I really wish that movies nowadays would have, um, but they don't, they don't, um, you know. But just this cast, bro, between Sandra Bullock, Wesley Snipes, and Sylvester Stallone, they really make this movie. And to be honest, bro, the the person that really really hammers this movie down to the net uh to the nail is wesley snipes bro simon phoenix's character bro he is so funny he is so deadly and he is so um smart you feel me and these are all three things that you don't want to have a, a criminal having that you got to go against but he just he just really he he really makes them set your ass on fire you know what i'm saying or or uh you know what else did he say um what else did he say, bro? Uh, when he was fighting the dude that didn't know how to fight, he's like, huh? 
huh? The dude start going at it, and Wesley Snipes is like, bah, just kicked that phone. Like, bro, it's just Simon Phoenix, Wesley Snipes' character in this movie is golden. He's great. Um, Yeah, man. So, you know, basically it gave you the premise. It gave you three of my favorite scenes. The grade for this one, man, I got to give it a 10 out of 10. I don't care if it had any problems in the past to me. To this day, when I first saw it, you know what I'm saying? Whatever you want to say, bro, like, just, it, it's been a 10 for me, for sure. I really love this movie. I wish they made a second one and, you know, or just remade it or something like that, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you don't touch perfect, you know what I'm saying? Just leave it as it is. But, yeah, man, definitely, definitely a 10 out of 10 for me, man, you know? And I don't know if that's just more of a nostalgic reason or, you know, just whatever, or I just love watching this movie with my brother and, like, my cousins and stuff like that, or, you know, or if it's just really just what it is, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, uh, for me, it's going to be a 10 out of 10 for Demolition, man. If you guys saw this movie before, let me know about it in the comments down below. What were some of your favorite scenes? Did you like this movie? Would you have liked to have seen a number two? Would you like to see them do a remake? Um... You know, which which uh, actor was your favorite? Which actor made the movie for you? You know what I'm saying? Let me know about that in the comments down below. All right. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, this is Q's Insight. I am Callie. Until next time.